Thank you again, Neil. Tonight, I am honored to celebrate what's best about the CABC by presenting our Corporate Leadership Award this evening. A combination of economic force, shared values, and friendship unlike any other, our bilateral relationship is the most prosperous in the world, and the Canadian American Business Council celebrates the partnership between our two countries. Once every year or two, we pause to recognize extraordinary achievement in the business community with our CABC Corporate Leadership Award. The criteria for selection includes job creation, environmental sustainability, and remarkable innovation. In past years, we have been pleased to honor Campbell Soup, Coca-Cola, Rio Tinto, CN, Johnson & Johnson's J-Labs, and most recently, MasterCard CEO Ajay Benga, an iconic American company with deep roots in Canada as well. UPS was founded in 1907 as a messenger company and is now a global leader in supply chain services, as well as, of course, package delivery, something that has become even more essential as the world faced lockdown due to a global pandemic. And while COVID has changed many things, there is one constant, that UPS truck driving down the street. There's nothing like receiving that brown box, but you know, for everybody, that box represents something different. And I can tell you that it represents a lot more than a tangible item around the world, it's hope. UPS serves customers in over 200 countries and territories with over 500,000 employees globally, including 12,000 employees across Canada. Their creed, customer first, people led, innovation driven. That innovation spurring UPS to enhance its green fleet, adding an additional 6,000 natural gas powered trucks this year. In fact, over the last decade, UPS has invested over a billion dollars in alternative fueling options. And earlier this year, as the pandemic unfolded, UPS created an entirely new division, specifically focused on the delivery of personal protective equipment and ventilators to medical and health professionals, even partnering with pharmaceutical companies to fly in essential medicines via drone to quarantining seniors. UPS is also trailblazing the way for women, launching the Women Exporters Program to help women-owned businesses tap into the global marketplace. UPS is paving the way for change with its commitment to volunteerism, providing 20 million hours of community service to nonprofits across the world, including over 100,000 volunteer hours in Canada alone. And in a year that has seen intense social unrest in the United States, UPS has advocated for laws that promote equity and justice in the workplace, additionally pledging millions to institutions advancing racial equality. Taking the reins of UPS this year is new CEO Carol Tomei, bringing her financial acumen and insider knowledge of UPS's complex operations, hitting the ground running as the first female CEO in UPS's history. Delivering hope and assurance that even during this unprecedented time, companies like UPS are working tirelessly to keep the world turning. I am very impressed by Laura and her team in their uh, commitment to the communities that they serve in, their commitment to their workers, their commitment to diversity, their commitment to making sure that they support and sustain uh, at a personal and human level the people that they work with. And now presenting the award, Chairman of the Council's Board of Directors, Gary Clement of TD Bank. To accept for UPS, please welcome Laura Lane. Chief of Corporate Affairs, Communications and Sustainability. Congratulations, Laura. Thank you to the Canadian American Business Council. I am so honored to accept the 2020 Corporate Leadership Award on behalf of UPS. UPS has championed the promotion of strong, sustainable, and inclusive North American trade since our expansion to Canada back in 1975. 
Recently, I was so proud to unveil UPS's new purpose statement, moving our world forward by delivering what matters. For UPS in the U.S., Canada, and around the world, that means finding ways to keep essential goods and services moving when the world needs them most. It means championing inclusive and sustainable trade and using our voice and our global network to speak up for equity and social justice, not just within our company, but in every market we serve. We know that these values are shared by the CABC and look forward to many more years of partnership with this amazing organization. Thank you for this special recognition, CABC, and to all our Canada-U.S. friends out there this evening, thank you for the leadership and dedication to Canada-U.S. relations. Today, we celebrate this innovation, dedication, and leadership. Congratulations to UPS,